Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. Oh, well, let's get to some more looting. I mean, that's what you do when there's a new town in any sort of game like this, right? Find all of the goodies. Okay, wheat. And another grenade, which is uh, lucky. All right. Let's start by looting these. Take that. Let's also get the key to the office. Treasure! Anything. Oh, no, 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 don't open that one. All right. 42 gold, a pickaxe, Adventurer's Field Guide, Volume 9. Okay. We're visible again. It's a little bit harder to see this because there's so much underneath this building as well, but uh, there are still some things. So we got explosive arrows, cursing arrows, and freezing arrows. Ten of each. Really nice. And a level 18 hunting bow. Wow. That is pretty impressive. All right. My stars shine brightly today. All right, smoke arrow. Grab all of those. Can we get to the chest in time? Yes, we didn't get anything good, though. Oh! All right, what happened? Someone wants to talk to me. I guess uh, Hanako. That doesn't belong to us, you know. Resource hunters. We should be able to access any of the resources we need or want while we're on the job. You're right, it doesn't. Sometimes I get a little overzealous while I'm on the job. Happens to the best of us. More than a few temptations accompany authority, no? Exactly. Altruistic. Is that what I want? Uh, reputation increased by two. Bartering increased by one. Yeah, that's actually okay. I need a moment to reflect. For the good of all, Source Hunters ought to be as altruistic as I, without exception. It does feel quite good to give of oneself to those in need. I've grown increasingly selfless, but I wonder if I've gone too far. What sort of Source Hunter is soft, as soft-hearted as I've become? It's absurd. Yeah, for the good of all, Source Hunters ought to be as altruistic as I, without exception. Those as giving as you are rare and exquisite as rubies. What a pleasure to behold you. I don't know why when we're talking there's this little symbol above our heads. I've, I've been noticing this the last couple episodes, and I haven't noticed it before. <laughs> very, very altruistic. Very. Just the absolute most altruistic. No one could be as altruistic as I. Really. One man's trash is another man's trash. Anything else? Does he have a pillow? He does not. Any other uh, goodies that I have not uh, yoinked, that I can yoink while invisible? Those are all empty. No, okay, so. Last things are these two uh, bookshelves. See, I didn't pick up anything that is uh, needs identifying, did I? Uh, 86 armor, requires strength 10, armor specialist 1. That's pretty good. Uh, magical armor potion, let's send that over to Medora. Roasted pork dish, send that over to Bear Daughter. 
Uh, I'm just going to end up selling that uh, armor, I think. I don't think there's any reason. We'll, we'll get stuff over time. Uh, the wood, we can send that to the homestead. Uh, nail bomb, send that to Medora. Nightmare grenade, send that to Medora. And thunderbolt grenade, send that to Medora. And the wheat, that can be sent to Bear Daughter. Alright. Go. Invisible. Nothing. And a blank water scroll. Alright. So we got uh, the stuff out of there. Really, that's the important thing. So I got a little greedy and went a little bit uh, too quick in my uh, looting. But that's okay. All right, let's see. I have not checked these. And I have not checked those. So that's it, there's nothing over on those. No. All right. What do we have? Just three and a fire barrel, all right, all right. Okay, get that uh, Rift Oglers back on. I mean, if I ever give myself another point of uh, Lucky Charm, I won't need that, or if I have anything that gives plus two. Nope, all right, nothing else there. Alright, so there is a locked thing back here. The Book of the Immaculate 3 that I cannot, uh... You, get, you can shut up now, by the way, sir. Let me spill blood for thee, O oh Holy One! That is spill blood for thee, oh Holy super One. duper creepy. Let's get out of here. So we can't hear them. <clears throat> we have a few books to read. The Book of the Immaculates, Volume 3, we need to look at. Alright, let's see. All these are identified. That is a lot of pillows I have. <laughs> Uh, cheese. That can go over to Bear Daughter. Uh, let's see. Adventurer's Field Guide to Volume 15. They say that if you kill a void creature, you can use its shadows to stay hidden yourself. Of course, uh, this is just an old wives' tale. How do you n kill shadow? And even if you manage to manage it, how would you pick it up? No one ever thinks these fairy tales through, do they? All right, invisibility potion. Improved leather helmet. Improved helmet. Improved bracer. Improved belt. Improved garment. Improved robe. Improved cloth armor. Improved leather armor. Metal armor. I can't remember what the uh, those are useful for anything. The sticks can be useful though. I might not need the quills anymore though. I don't know. I'll have to, have to think about that. Uh, the cloth I can go to the homestead because I feel like you can use that for something, but I can't remember. I think you might be able to cut it up. All right, let's go ahead and read the third book of the Immaculates. Once the Immaculate has practiced bringing energy to higher beings through the stones, he or she begins to wonder, can one Immaculate deserve the energy of another? 
One must tread light as a feather when considering this question. Some aspects of sacrifice are simple. The life of a chicken, a rabbit, a pig is worth less than that of a man. This much we know. A human has every right to the blood of that creature if that blood may heal or sustain him. Might it not follow, then, that a man can be a chicken-like, rabbit-like, pig-like enough that a higher being deserves his blood? The fourth book of the Immaculates seeks to answer this question. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't, I haven't looked through these. Oops. We the Keep finding, uh, crates that I, I need to, uh, loot. All right, take that. Take that. And nothing else. All right. Well, let's go see if we can, uh, talk to him about the Book of the Immaculates. The Why do they talk so much? The goddess is the word. Through the conduit she speaks, and through me her wisdom is repeated. How may I enlighten you? Uh, let's see. Inflicts poison on contact. Plus one initiative. Plus 0.7 movement. Uh, that's pretty good. get that. Let me spill Wait, we don't want to sell the books of the Immaculate yet. Go ahead and hold on to that. Um, can't use that yet, so we'll hold on to that. Immaculate have the, uh, Empty bottles. Hold on to the pillows. Sell that painting. Alright, that's a lot of pillows. <laughs> that is a lot of pillows. Alright. There we go. Alright, uh, I'd like to ask you some questions about the Immaculates. Let's discuss my joining. Do you hold it to be true, O oh Seeker, that you are ready to be tested? I should have saved the it first. A most sacred trio of queries shall I put before thee. Just but in case. even if thou falterest but a single time, unworthy will thou be deemed of the goddess's love. All right, I am Blessed ready. Blessed be your willing spirit. We commence. Premise the first. In honor of the goddess, that which was Stella must become sanguine. Starstone become bloodstones, yes. Correct. Agreed. That is correct. Premise the second. The blood of the greater should be used in service of the lesser, so that balance may be achieved. Correct? That is incorrect. Yes, that is incorrect. Premise the third. Only those who have partaken in the spilling of blood and thereby created the stone that lives, the stone soaked with blood, may be called an immaculate. That is correct. Agreed. That is correct. Most gratifying. Oh, yes, most exemplary indeed. You have understood the words of the goddess, and I deem you worthy of her true test. Of the true trial that shall make you an immaculate. Okay, so uh, what do I do from then there? Uh, what is this true trial you spoke of? Become an immaculate, you must experience both the goddess's bane and her boon. Leave Silver Glen and take the western path. Follow it to where the winds howl and a great skull looms within the rocks. There you will find it, the hollow, and the true trial within. Okie dokie. Immaculate guards bar the way, but tell them you have my blessing and they shall let you pass. But take utmost care, the road is beset with horrors, and your metal will be truly tested before you've even set foot within the goddess's trial. It would behoove you to train in advance, of setting upon that treacherous path. All right. Good luck, Seeker. I shall await you in the Chamber of Blood. That is so creepy. Okay, well, uh, everyone is leaving now. Oh, 
don't know where they're all going. They're just going to vanish. Let's go see if they're going to vanish. There was a plate in there, but I can come back and get that. Rejoice, stranger! The rot is cured! The blight is lifted! No, I, I think they're just going to wander around. Okay, that's good. That mean that that is actually going to make it a lot easier to uh, pick all of their pockets. So much easier to pick all of their pockets. I'll take that plate. Let's see. Key. Lockpick or hammer, she says. Uh I can't examine that, so I don't know if there is anything that we can do about that. All right. Well, we have a little uh, little quest that we can do. We can secretly join the Immaculates and uh, see what uh, what is going on. Uh, so Western Path, that would be the one by that waypoint. And probably going up that way, I guess? The Immaculate Trial Dungeon entrance. Yeah, okay, so up there. Well, let's go out this way. There's a little bit in the corner of the map that we haven't explored yet. May I think the that's guide you through the forest and keep you safe. Probably worth uh, checking out. <laughs> hmm, sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, this looks like a very poisonous area here. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush. Yeah, you think? All right. What do we got? Evil smelling flowers and blood wasps. Weak failed. I do not remember these enemies at all. All right, well, um, there we go. You're poisoned, which is unfortunate. Not uh, that tough, it looks like. The there we go. Uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot of these, but uh, have some fun over there. There we go. Perfect. Nice critical hit. I can take you all in one shot. There we Just go. <laughs> One more over here. Can't see target. All right. Let's move down there. Oh, there's one over there, too. Missed you. Poison failed. Good. Oh, and there's one there, too. Whoops. Poisoned. It's fine. There we go. Oh no, oh god, no, no, no. Well, that was really, really dumb. is fine. Oh, I hate that there's sometimes a place that, like, very hard. I like that this 
little thing is still there. Oh god, well. You died. Alright. Come over here. So we can start getting healed. Yeah, I, I wish that there was a... I, I do wish that there was, like, a an ability to stop time for a short period. Because that would be very useful in uh, getting healing off after battles like that. As I'm going to use that as well. Really am. Let's see, animal hide, animal hide, solid metal helmet, there's an eye, 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 penny bun mushrooms, jaw skull, 212 gold, raw meat, gold, and we're poisoned. Take care of that later. Eyes. Jelly room. In the desert of faithlessness, only this can revive me. All right, get some more hit points there. There's a tree trunk container. Rogue Earth Elementals. There we go. <laughs> Let's do that. Get you out. And that's it. Uh, how about we encourage everyone? And we'll get on over here. bit of damage to that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Nick out. I think I know the chorus of this one. And you can start walking. Hastened and warm. Raged. Blessed. Okay, going after Nick. That's fine. Spider's turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Medora. Just, just sprayed that. The, the, the spider just like. Well, I guess it's a, the earth elemental might have done it, but just spit some uh, poison out uh, all over the uh, the place. Okay. Yep. Just poisoned again. Just all of them going after. All of them going after Medora. We 149 diseased. Get that one. Take it out. 
<laughs> put even more poison around here. I mean, as you do. All right, let's just get over here. It's gonna be closer. Crippling blow, very nice. There we go. get over here. Right, let's go ahead and get over here. I think I'll go for the eyes this time. You're not boo. Get lots of healing there. You into poison. Good. Yes, go after my immune to poison, guys. It's fine by me. The time of your death is at hand. Sure, let's see. Why not? to knock down, understandably considering that it is a flower. There we go. Got them both. Death is its own deliverance. Excellent. Action points. Alright, just get down to it. Healing up as you go. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, Nick has been poisoned! Whatever shall we do? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna not even bother. Spider Friend and Nick, I think, got this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He did indeed. All right. Bless the seven. I am restored. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the fire wand so that. Uh, some of that stuff. There we go. Uh, no fly agaric mushrooms there, unfortunately. But we do have a stump that we can uh, open up. Let's go ahead and do just that. The seventh smile upon me. Nothing in that trunk. What about this trunk over here? Ooh, tremor grenade. Send that over to Medora. Take those things. All right, some more eyes. 142 gold. Hi, animal hides. Don't ask me where these animal hides are coming from with these guys. That's a good question. There is the uh, beehive that we've already searched. Start a stir. May the goddess guide you through the forest. Okay. And nothing else back here. No. Okay. So we've uh, explored this little bit here. I think when we come back next time, we'll work our way up to that uh, that trial. Traveler and blood's blessings.
but I think I'm going to first uh, do some pickpocketing here in town. Just to see what I can get out of uh, basically everyone. See you next time, everyone.